What's going on, y'all? Welcome back, friends. I am Jeff, and this is Torpedoes and Tarantulas. And today we're just going to kind of do a little bit of an update video, just a couple of updates that are coming up. As you can see in front of us here, there's a bunch of plants that I picked up at my local Walmart um, a few days ago. And um, I'm going to use some of these to go into my new Exoterra enclosure when I finally decide what spiders going in there right now. It is looking like the GBB will be going in there. Most everyone has that has uh, commented has told me that I should put the GBB in there. And uh, Super Tarantella uh, told me that I should put the GBB in there because Brackies are notorious climbers. And that is the truth. My Bracky Palma likes to climb up onto the lid and hang on to the screen ventilation hole. And I have to shoo him off of there all the time it off there we don't know if it's a him and so with that being a screen top on that exoterra i don't think i will be rehousing my brachypelma into that enclosure but i think that i will be getting one later on and modifying a piece of plexiglass so that i can have it in an enclosure like that because it's it is a display spider and those are really a display enclosure so We'll see how that goes. I'd like to ask you guys, once again, to help me out. Those of you who have not commented, let me know um, which spider that you would like to see rehoused into the Exoterra enclosure. You see I got some um, some regular old leaves here, foliage, and then um, they had some little succulents, which I got some just to kind of add some, uh, some texture and some color to the enclosure. Again, once I decide what tarantula is going to go in there, I don't think it's going to be the Harpactera pulchropes. The Harpactera pulchropes is recently molted, you know. It has not outgrown its enclosure. It's just kind of outgrown uh, the way its burrow is. So I think what I'm going to do there is just kind of redo uh, its enclosure so that it'll be more comfortable in there. And so that's about all of that. So on to an update on a couple of my spiders. Starting off with, of course, my Black Widow that I found in the yard. She and the other two spiders have settled in quite nicely. She has gone and suspended her egg sacs in there. And there are somewhere in here, one right there, smaller spider. Don't know if that's an offspring or if that's a male because, of course, the males are much smaller. And then here's the other smaller one right up there kind of in the center of your screen close to her. Now, I'm assuming that that is the male because they usually will hang close to her for a chance to mate and, of course, to get um, some food, some, some of her scraps or whatever. So I'm going to get me a roach and we're going to put it in there and see what happens. Hold on, guys. Okay guys, here we go. I'm just going to place the roach into the web. And of course I dropped it and it fell down to the bottom of the enclosure. So once again, guys, hold on. All right, so I got the roach back. Let's see if we can kind of carefully place it into the web to where it will get tangled up and suspended in the web rather than falling down to the bottom of the enclosure again there. And then let's see if... Darn it! Okay, well, I don't know how well that's uh, going to work out. I'm going to stop trying to get the roach in the web because I've already disturbed these spiders enough and have destroyed the webbing. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and leave the roach in there. I'll update you guys on that later on. And now I've got one other update. Okay, guys, one more try, and then I'm just going to go ahead and give up on the the stupid roach and the feeding of the black widow because it just keeps dropping down to the bottom of the enclosure there and I don't know what else to do besides just leave it in there so yep it dropped again anyway that's my update on my black widow and the rest of her crew so there you go now on to the last update and last but not least my Brachypelma erratum, if you watched my video last week, I attempted to feed it 
It rejected the food. And if you will look very closely now, you can see that that bald spot on its abdomen has turned dark and shiny, which is a good indicator that it's going to be molting very soon. So you've got that coming up. Augie, my green bottle blue, is still in a pre-molt, so we've got that coming up. My Harpactera pulchropes will probably be fed at the end of the week, and my Brachypelma homori has buried itself in its enclosure again. So basically that's all the updates I got. I'm sorry this video sucked so bad and was so boring, but I just wanted to update you guys on what I had going on since everything's been kind of slow with the content lately. I want to apologize for that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Drop me a line in the comments. Don't forget to tell me which tarantula you would like to see rehoused into the Exoterra Nano enclosure. Comment, share, subscribe. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great night. Take care and God bless, guys.